We are so, so very happy. Rom-coms are back in full sw swing. And more than that, there's a juicy one on Netflix. It's called The Perfect Find, and it stars the reason that we're so happy to be in our studio. <laughs> Lala Anthony is here. Uh, okay, Lala hey. plays a best friend, Gabrielle Union's character, who's a fashion mogul starting over after her personal and professional life come crashing down. Here's a sneak peek. My proudest achievement, this place, not the property, but the life I made here with the woman who made it home. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds like somebody misses somebody. I was gone for over a year and did not hear from him once. Yikes. I gotta go. Mm -hmm. With the magazine, though, huh? Shut up. <laughs> Skip to the last paragraph, girl. <laughs> I want to see it based on that, know, just too. on that. How fun, by the way, you and your girls, it's, too. Tell when us you about. get to work with your friends, it's so much fun. Gab and I, the last movie we did was Think Like a Man 1 and 2. Oh, yeah. Yes. To be able to come back together all these years later and do the perfect find is something that we're both so excited about. And I think people are just going to love it. Like, who doesn't want to fall in love and find love and... and live happily ever after. I mean, rom-coms too. Like, we yes. feel like there's been a lack of them. Yeah, we want to sure. laugh. We want to kind of have yeah. that romance. Right. What's the vibe of this one? So the vibe is that she's what's considered an older woman and she falls in love with a younger man. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. we're kind of telling her, like, this should just be for fun. Like, this, you shouldn't take this serious. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of things happen, but it just shows that, you know, you can find love at any age. Oh, like, you don't have to give up after a certain age. No. When it comes to love, are you someone who is a risk taker or do you kind of play it safe? You're known. People know who you are. Yeah. It must put you in kind of a tricky spot sometimes. I'm a risk taker. You're a risk taker. <laughs> you really are? I am. I'm just trying to just be more open, you know, and not have all these, like, okay, I can't do this. Like, it's just, like, about living and just having fun and living in the moment. I'm really working on being more present in the moment, and I'm enjoying that space that I'm in right now. And you're open to, to being set up, right? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> If I trust the person that's trying to set me up right. and I feel like they know me, then yes. But getting set up is not is scary. Easy. Yeah. What is it about? Because some some people, after a relationship that doesn't work, they don't, they don't feel the same about love. I feel like you love love. Yeah. Like there's something I do about love it. love, but I did afterwards feel a little bit different. I was like, okay, this might just not be for me. But it's been a couple of years now, so I'm definitely just open and trying to be positive. It's the summer now. I said this is my outside summer i'm going out more i'm hanging out more i'm just trying to live life and have fun well you're a hard worker i mean you work yes. you work a lot you have a yeah. multiple projects at one time always juggling and when did you decide like sometimes i need time for me what was like the point where you said uncle that that, that was recent just because mm -hmm. like you said i work so much and i never give myself like time to enjoy my hard work and i was like look i'm working so hard why not enjoy it with myself, my family, my son, my friends? I want to be able to do that. And it's like, if you don't do that for yourself, no one's going to do it for you. Why I, do you think you kept working? Like, yeah. why do you think you didn't, you didn't take a break? I'm just so motivated and driven. Like, I love working. It makes me happy. It makes me feel accomplished. And it's what I love. But I'm like, you know, there's another side to this, too, which is balance and being able to enjoy yeah. your hard work. And yeah. that's like the season of my life right now. I'm still working really hard, but definitely trying to find that balance as like well. That. We know that your son is the center of, mm. of everything that you yes. are. He's 16. I'm 16. I'm shocked. What? Yes, I feel like 16. I remember him as a baby. I know. He's 16 and he's 6'4". So he's like <laughs> just towering over me, but he's great. Actually, today's his last day of school, so he's super excited. He keeps texting me, last day, last day, last day. How about so a kid happy. at 16 who already has yeah. Syracuse saying, hey, come, he's an incredible come basketball play ball player. with us. He is. How does he navigate all of that stuff? He's so humble. He's so yeah. down to earth. And he's just, you know, enjoying these moments. And everything I'm telling myself, I'm telling him, take in these moments, Making be present, you know, appreciate all of this. Because these kind of things, you know, only come around once once in a lifetime. So make sure, like, you're taking it all in. But I'm really proud of Cayenne. He's doing incredible. And you'll definitely see him on the basketball yes. circuit for sure. How do you help as his mom make sure that he stays grounded and, and yeah. you know, and all of that? Um, you know, I just talk to him a lot. I think it's important to talk to your kids. I talk to him a lot, and I just, when he's home, he's a normal kid. You got to yeah. take the trash out. <laughs> yeah. What's up with these dishes? You know, you got to make sure I, I stay on him. But his personality, he's just so grateful mm -hmm. and humble. I just got blessed with such an incredible kid. Mm -hmm. What kind of a mom are you? How would you describe yourself? <laughs> I'm definitely a fun mom, but yeah. at the same time, you know, I'm 
I'm strict when I need to be, but yeah. I'm a fun mom and I'm a basketball mom. If you saw me in the basketball stands when my son is playing, oh, you yeah, might tell be like, me. I want to hear. What is it like? like? What's she's your... losing her mind right now? <laughs> you, or what? What's your vibe? Are you? I'm, I'm crazy. Hiding no, or I'm, screaming? No, I'm screaming. I'm going crazy. I'm screaming at the refs. They're just looking <laughs> like, at me like this lady like, is out of her mind. Like I can't help it. You know what's so cute? With so many cute things about your son, but sometimes when he posts something cute on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Your mom, oh, his grandma, yes. gets online and puts some comments like, that's my grandson. <laughs> she, grandma oh, yes, loves yes. you. My mom is crazy about him. My mom will go to war for him. She puts, that's my grandson. But if somebody says something negative, I'm oh, like, mom, do? you cannot battle people in the comments. Why are you in the comments? She does not. Yes, going off on people. I'm like, why? You can't do that. But she's like, don't touch my she's grandson. Like, do yeah. Was she that type of mom for you, too? They can say whatever about me. It's fine. She'll tell me, oh, just ignore it. When it comes to my son, she goes crazy over it. Oh um, we, we have a fun summer playlist oh, yeah. that we ask everyone who comes to add a song to it. What's your, what's your summer song? You sure you want the answer? <laughs> yes, 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 I do. Is it, why? My summer song is Act Bad by Diddy, Fabulous, and the City Girls. So what they're saying is the Act Bad Summer. So just do whatever oh, you want this summer. Is that your vibe? Act Bad? Maybe that should be our vibe. Yeah, last vibe. year we were we, feral girls. No, no, no. 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 It's an Act, Act Bad, bad Summer. Act Bad yes, Summer. Act Bad Summer. Oh, no. <laughs> Watch this out, sounds, Mom and Dad. We're fun. going wild. <laughs> All right. Lala, thank uh, you you're so the much. Loveliest. I love coming here to oh, see you Please guys. come back. Always. Um, and thank you. And everybody go see The Perfect Fine. It's coming out on Netflix on June 23rd. It's an incredible movie, and I think people are going to love it. You, you know, know they will. Don't forget. June, you're the June 23rd. Yes. Don't forget. Thank, thank you. you. Lala.